They're aggressive and strong. Unlike most fish, they can actually breathe air, earning it the nickname Frankenfish. They're great fun for New Jersey anglers. But they're not supposed to be here. This is the northern snakehead. For New Jersey Fish and Wildlife, the snakehead is considered an invasive species, and we regulate it as a potentially dangerous fish. Today, biologists from the Division of Fish and Wildlife are electrofishing in the Salem Canal to sample the fish species present here. So electrofishing is a non-lethal method of sampling fish population. Uh, we keep the voltage down to a minimum um, so that they're just temporarily stunned uh, for you know, seconds uh, and then they re you know, revive in our live well. It's confirmed. Snakeheads are still in this tributary to the Delaware. As far as the state is concerned, that's not good news. You know, we kind of treat invasives the same way, whether it's a snakehead, whether it's a spotted lanternfly, um, whether it's a gypsy moth. The, you know, the spread of any invasive can cause you know, negative impact to our native species. Uh, and that's what we're concerned with, is you know, the potential that they can negatively impact you know, our recreationally important species, our native fish of, say, the pinelands, you know, our native brook trout populations in the northwest uh, section of the state. Um, you know, any invasive can have you know, a negative impact. The northern snakehead is a top predator. They reproduce very quickly and in large numbers. It has a very hard, uh, bony head. Characteristic is the, uh, the long uh, anal fin, long dorsal fin up on the top. You have one like this that's real dark, almost like a black coloration, and a lot of variation. These exotics were likely originally imported as aquarium fish or sold on the commercial market. They were first discovered near New Jersey at FDR Park in Philadelphia in 2004. They would make their way into the Schuylkill River, which drains into the Delaware River. And of course, once in the Delaware, they were free to migrate. It's believed that snakeheads, first found in New Jersey in 2008, are now established in Delaware tributaries as far north as the New York border, all the way south to Alloway Creek. That's well more than a 100-mile stretch of the Delaware. So, with snakeheads so well established, the question is, what's being done? The official stance from Fish and Wildlife is they must be killed. It's an actual rule, but impossible to enforce. It's against the law. It's part of a regulation uh, that you cannot release the fish back to the water. Um, so, because you cannot release it back to the water alive, that is a directive that, you know, they, they have to be killed. I mean, we're told to kill them if we catch them, but I could tell you for a fact that that is not happening. And that's the tricky part. You see, some anglers hate them. I can't stand them. I, I, I wish they were just gone. But it appears that many more love them. For New Jersey, it's like a new, a new game fish. Like, I consider it a game fish. Um, it's just an awesome fish to fish for. You know, to tell someone that they have to kill something is just preposterous, in my opinion. And that's part of the conflict that the state has to deal with. They're a fast-growing fish. They grow large. Um, there's a lot of people that are directly targeting the species now because they're so fun and they grow so quickly and they're so aggressive, um, which is causing a lot of issues for our agency and other natural resource management agencies because people do not want to kill them. You know, they want to put them back so that they can grow larger and they can catch them again. So really, all the biologists can do is continue to educate anglers and monitor the spread of this invasive. But it's probably fair to think they might be here to stay. You know, some of these impacts, you know, we may not see and anglers may not see four, five, 10 years, but in the long term, the 10, 15, 20, 25 years down the road, that's what we're monitoring for. At some point, I, I honestly believe that that kill tag is gonna be removed off them. I think for the future that these snakeheads are here to stay. I think we're stuck with them at this point. You know, we do some regular um, monitoring, uh, removal. You know, as we move forward, 
Um, you know, it may be a species that we see everywhere throughout the state. You know, it might be 50 years from now, it might be 100 years from now. They might eventually achieve the status of something like a common carp, um, but only time will tell.